Okay, so the um, solution for the first day problem is pretty straightforward. What I use is, um, well, what I use actually doesn't preserve the data, but it just um, rounds up to get the distance. Um, so the solution that I provide is um, as follows. Since uh, the taxi cab geometry uses um, four sides, north, east, south, and west, um, I use this as well um, in a simple array, as this, and as well, since we start at some specific direction and a point, uh, for now we just care about the direction, I just define the direction as a number. Um, number which represents the index of the um, directions array which means that for example since our starting point is zero 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 or in other words actually our advancement in the first which we can as well have north east south or west but let's say this is north this is east south and west the advancement in north is zero, east is zero, south and west are as well zero, and this direction points to the zero zeroth yeah um, index. So, by why do I use this? Is um, because by incrementing or decrementing this, I push up to another um, indices in one of the indices which are neatly um, placed because of the uh, distance uh, the yeah, difference in rotation is 90 degrees which just means that if I go right or left I just need to increment or decrement um, another thing that is pretty useful in Python is that um, Python accepts negative indices in the way that it starts counting from the end of the array so in this case let's say um, we have an array of let's see one two three four and I mean one two three four just to identify which number is it um yeah a zero is actually the first one um, a three is the last one a minus one is the last one as well, and a minus three is the um, yeah not the last one but th the third from the end, which means that um, you might just say okay so a minus three mm, should be something as the first one, but actually no, um, the minus already you cannot say minus zero in a way. Uh, yeah, it just changes casts to zero, and you don't really see anything happening with the minus. So this means that in the case of um, going right, um, we just increment. For example, if we had zero, then we go to one. Then we have this this being this index being used, and um, depending on the next operation we might increment or decrement. Um, so yeah, so we have read the data, the data is in this format which is separated by a comma and the space um, so let's get the tokens from it it's data split comma yeah and the space um, yeah so then for each token in tokens uh, let's do um, okay so yeah each token has a letter and a number. Uh, the number can be as well consisting of three digits. For example, this token has 185. So let's say the letter is token 0, which is the first one, and the number is everything that is not the first one. Right. Uh, okay, so. Then after this, um, we can as well start looking into what direction, what's the direction change. So if let's say uh, is equal, let's say L. Um, 
so the direction is let's say um, decreased by one I mean in the end it doesn't really matter because what we actually care about is having this flexible in a generic generic system wise case which means that um, if the let's if one lets a increments the other should decrement and like in the end these the sum the distance is still the same Ma yeah maybe the distance goes in the totally different direction that wasn't intended but for this problem we don't really care about that as it, this distance is not a vector it's a sc scalar and yeah and the direction here is plus one another thing that we should care about not to get out of bounds let's um, do a modulus division which means that it will not it will never get to the number 4 which is the length of this area it will always be less um, and yeah in the directions case um, directions given this index we just increment um, by number okay another thing that I noticed yeah number is a string for now so we want to cast it to an integer okay and this sums up to getting all of the directions summed up to getting I don't know 150 to north 100 to left and so on but um, when we want to get to the final point we just do a simple um, difference from a uh, simple difference printing so take an absolute value of directions going let's say north which would be zero minus directions south which would be two because north and south are divided by 180 degrees um, the indices are as well the, uh, the difference between indices is as well too and the directions the, the difference of direction uh, both of the directions from east to west is directions 3 okay so what this means it's just um, what's the difference between north and south and what's the difference between east and west and by this day one yeah we get a solution which is yeah this specific distance and yeah, that's it